What got me interested in music was uh, my mother would always uh, have musical instruments around the house. She might come home with a French horn one day or a clarinet a week after that. And there was always a piano in the house and always music playing on the radio. So music was always in the house. I think uh, there was a couple kids in my neighborhood that played guitar and they were looking for a drummer. So I volunteered to be the idiot of the band. There weren't too many gigs for trombone players, <laughs> so I started playing bass when I was about 27. Oh, that goes back to about 1960. I listened to, uh, or watched actually, Ricky Nelson on TV with James Burton playing guitar and uh, Lawrence Welk Show with Buddy Merrill and Neil LeBang playing guitar with him. I would watch an entire hour of Lawrence Welk just so I could see a 10 second or 15 second guitar solo. And then the Ventures came out, and I figured that's as cool as it can possibly get. I've got to be able to do that. So I gave it a try. The band I played in was uh, a soul band called John Jay and the End Men. Uh, they were putting it uh, together from out of the remnants of the old mystics from Clinton, Illinois. So John asked me if I'd like to be in the band and I said sure, uh, because I'd always follow the mystics and was a big fan of them. And uh, I, I look back on that, that was, that was a great time.
Wow, my first band uh, was probably in junior high, and uh, junior high talent show. Where, uh, I think there was like five of us, and we all just went down to the pawn shop and bought new instruments, and uh, none of us knew how to play, but uh, we'd give it our best shot, so that was the greatest way to get all the chicks back in junior high, being a band. The first band would have been about 62 or 63, called the Aristocrats. The fellows uh, that I started playing with put a band together in high school. In 63, we played the uh, Illinois State Fair, Battle of the Bands, and lo and behold, we won. They put us on Marty's Dance Party on uh, the local TV station, and we played the uh, big team dance on top of the Illinois building that year. A one white, two on the side, another stories I can tell. Some of my favorite uh, players are probably uh, you know, Gene Krupa, uh, Ringo, Mitch Mitchell. Those are some of my you know, some drummers from the 50s and 60s when I first started listening to rock and roll. My biggest musical influences, well, as far as harmonica goes, would be Little Walter, Big Walter, Sonny Boy, Howlin' Wolf, definitely Junior Wells. Uh, of course, Elvis Presley and uh, Buddy Holly, later the Beatles, and then uh, by the mid to late 60s, it was Eric Clapton and uh, Peter Green. Not as old as these, the rest of these guys in the band. So when I was a little tiny kid, about this big, that's when the Beatles came out. And so they're an influence, but all the the British Invasion band, the Beatles, the Stones, the Who, and then later on I got it more into jazz. You know, big bands like Count Basie and Sam Kenton and stuff like that. So pretty much a mixed bag. This is like the last chance to really get a great band together, and I think we've done it. My approach to King T's is to bring, it's, it's like making the ultimate mixtape for me. Bringing material that, that I like to listen to, that, that would be fun for me to go to see a band play, that would get me up and want to dance, uh, that I'd want to listen to if I were on a cross-country road trip to Maryland or some place like that. King T's are a, a group of guys that have been playing for a long time and uh, they all kind of have an interest in the same sort of music. You know, it's rock and roll. A little bit of country, a little bit of rockabilly, and a whole lot of fun. Contrary to popular belief, we are not the band on the Viagra commercial. As far as being nervous before playing, I probably get sleepy more than anything else. I don't know if that's a, you know part of being nervous or whatever, or you know I just kind of zone out and then when when it's time to play and Terry counts it in, then you know it's go time.
I don't know, every show is a good show, you know? Be it uh, from small town, or, you know, big time show, whatever. That's what being in a band's all about, you know, getting up and showing off and entertaining. Hopefully you pull it off. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm over the hill, but I've been doing this since 1960. I'd like to go out with a bang. I think this is the band to do it with. So I'm, I'm in for the long haul for at least another 10 or 15 years, though. <laughs>